Hello everyone, I was going back and forth of whether I should record a video tonight when I decided, well, ultimately I will. Um, I didn't watch any FA Cup action. I honestly am not interested at this moment in the FA Cup. I think once we get to quarterfinals, semifinals, final, maybe I'll do something about it. But cup competitions, not that crazy about those. I mean, Coppa Italia doesn't... It's all of those. I think they are secondary competitions. It's the leagues and the Champions Leagues where it's at for me. But yeah, there's only one league playing this weekend. I mean, one of the big leagues that I'm talking about, and that's um, uh, La Liga. Yes, Portugal is playing, Scotland is playing, and all those leagues. But um, I honestly don't have the time to follow all of these. So um, let's stick with the big ones. And um, while... City and Liverpool were playing. There was also Real Madrid making up the match day 17 uh, game at Villarreal. We were played in the Club World Cup. And it started right out of the gate after everyone congratulated Real Madrid for winning the Club World Cup. Such a huge achievement. Um, Santi Casola, a wonderful pass to him and he just one time said right into the corner wonderful goal i think it was fourth minute or so uh i'm gonna pull up the match details here real madrid uh hit back right off the bat um benzema i think just yeah in the seventh already uh equalized through a header yeah was it a header i think it was a regular goal it was then in the 20th when after a cross free kick varan headed the in uh, the, uh, the ball in and it became a 2-1 lead for Real Madrid, and it seemed like, yeah, you get the three points that you needed. Uh, would have even gotten it, I think there was no chance, some at 64th for Villarreal, where it was kind of going, uh, waking up the giant, and Lucas Vasquez had a huge chance in front of the goalie, uh, managed to get through two defenders, and then he doesn't pass over to Bonzema, who had an empty net in front of him. No, he tries to shoot it, and... It comes as it should come. Santi Casola makes the late equalizer, I think, in the yeah, 82nd minute. And he's the man. Real Madrid drops two vital points, you gotta say, because uh, the way where Villarreal is placed at the moment in the table, they're 17th. So, I mean, yes, they play in Europe, they're in the next round, but honestly, if you're Real Madrid, those are three points that you need to pick up. And that puts Real Madrid in a little bit of um, uh, trouble. Uh, then there have been a few more games already for match the 18 and I'm running through the results. I saw uh, two highlights, the one was Espanyol against Leganes, uh, where Espanyol snapped a six game losing streak, kind of unbelievable to be honest, uh, that they had such a losing streak, they were second place and since then they dropped, 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 drop, and I think they were in eighth place now. Um, the goal came uh, quite quite early, I think it was in the eighth minute. Let me check that. Yeah, ninth minute through Iglesias, uh, where Spaniel player saw the goal is off uh, the line, um, makes a long range shot, it hits the bar and lands right at the feet of Iglesias, who nets it. Then it was only Espanol, 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 Espanol. Leganes didn't have any real chances, playing in horrible jerseys. I really didn't like those black with some purple thing. Not even a big fan of the Espanol jersey, although I like the Riviera Maya. That's that's a great jersey, uh, a great sponsor, and maybe because of that I would like to have that jersey. Um, it's actually a pity. I want to have a in Spain an Atletico and an Espanol jersey for sure, and maybe some Villa Valencia, Sevilla, one of those teams uh, that I actually always like and support it so yeah i need to stock up on my la liga collection at the moment i'm working on the premier league a little bit i think i will soon have five and i'll show you everything but yeah uh that was the one game um espanol snapping the, the streak the other one i saw the highlights of uh alaves valencia uh, valencia took a very early lead wonderful free kick by parejo in the 14th minute uh, but quick Essa, Borja, uh, Baston makes the equalizer, and then right before halftime, Pina makes it a 2 1 game uh, for Al Alaves, who then controlled largely the game. Only at the end, Valencia is trying to come back, but it was always more than going for Alaves, who continued their marvelous season. Um, I will always remember Alaves for losing that uh, back then UEFA Cup final to Liverpool. 
Ah, it was in 2001 because I said give Liverpool a Champions League title and Alavés Vesta Europa League title because Bayern and Valencia played a horrible final that year. That was a great game, and for that, yeah, Alavés will always I will always remember them fondly. Uh, and it's great to see them up again because they weren't sec uh, Segunda División and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, Alaves Valencia 2-1. Uh, and let's quickly run through some other results. Levante, Girona 2-2. Uh, we have Real Valladolid against Vallecano 0-1. Uh, and Uesca beat uh, Betis Sevilla 2-1. Just want to check that one out because that seems to be... A, yeah, Betis took the lead through penalty in the 55th. And then within five minutes, Ferreira and Rivera turned it around for Uesca. They were not winners. That's a little bit surprising. We have, of course, tomorrow all the big boys playing, and I will talk more about those. Tomorrow I actually can watch soccer games. So they didn't watch anything because there was nothing interesting. Um, we have now the uh, teams that we have to talk about. Alaves with that win. They have one game more than Real Madrid, but they leapfrog Real Madrid for at least a day. They have 31 points. So Real Madrid only 30. You could be at 32 points level with Sevilla. Uh, the top. Barcelona has some separation, 37, Atletico 34, Sevilla 32. So there it gets tighter, but um, it still seems Barcelona has to lose. Betis, sixth place, you cannot lose to Uesca. Uh, Uesca is the last place team, I'm sorry. It, you cannot lose to Uesca. Uh, Girona, 23, um, no, I'm getting ahead of myself. So Betis in sixth, 26th. Um, Espanyol has 24 points, it's in eighth uh, position now. Actually made quite a huge jump. Girona uh, 23 at 18. Levante played 23 points also. Valencia dropped uh, 22 in Celta de Vigo, but that uh, dropped also, but that they haven't played yet. Uh, Valladolid 21 points. And 14th spot. Leganes is 16th now with 19 points. And then Rayo Vallecano is 19th. Second to last, and Duesco is last. Uh, with 16 and 11 uh, respectively. It is quite weird to see Athletic Bilbao so deep into the struggle and also Villarreal and Real Sociedad. There are quite some big names that are anything but safe, I would say. Um, yeah, I think the La Liga season, I haven't been too, so much into it because they had not a break, but maybe now is the time for La Liga to shine this weekend and the next one because Italy is not picking up again and I think it also will take for the Premier League now. Uh, they will come back again, but I think we'll get a little bit more Spanish-English flair now before it heats up in other leagues as well. Well, let me know what you thought about all these results, um, especially about the Real Madrid result. I think that was the most interesting one, although Bet is losing. It's also not that uninteresting. I gotta watch the highlights later. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like that video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. And tomorrow there will be more uh, La Liga with uh, maybe a bit more tech of mine. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.